today is a day when I'm gonna take wife's van to the shop. The guy's gonna try to pull this section out and then replace it with the section that I got right here. And then once he replaces that section, then I'll be able to take the parts from this van put it on uh, that one. Everything that I need on this van is good. There's no problems except the missing mirror. But other than that, right now we're gonna load this up on this trailer that I bought from a friend. And I'm hoping my little 1500 will be able to pull this heavy duty trailer with this giant van, so. And uh, this will be a tight fit. So let's go ahead and uh, unwrap the engine bay, start it up, and load this guy on the trailer and get going. that on truck doesn't look that bad I think I'll move it in I think I'll move it forward just a little bit actually it might be just fine actually because most of the front most, most of the weight is on the front anyway so I just gotta remove those ramps and I'm good to go and strap it down strap it down and good to go Right, all loaded up, strapped down. Should be all good. If I'm not mistaken, I think this uh, van is about seven to eight thousand pounds, just because it has a cooler uh, insulation option, and that's uh, pretty heavy. With all that metal inside, and insulation, and etc. I believe uh, the cargo vans without the coolers, they're about six, six and a half, maybe a little more, roughly. I'm just hoping my plastic windshield and plastic door holds on the way there, because it was raining pretty bad, but it stopped for a few minutes, but I'm just hoping the interior doesn't get too wet. All right, let's get going. Well, so far it's going good. But about 60, my speedometer is five miles off with 35s. 1800 RPM, right now I'm going up a hill. Right now it's gonna shift gears, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. So it's not too bad. There's my little buddy right here, UPS guy. Alright, made it to the shop. Doors didn't hold. I gotta had to strip it down. Windshield didn't really hold. So I'm gonna load this real quick and put it in the shop. You guys pulling the semi truck out. So I'm gonna get this in there. Well, 
this sucks. So I brought the van to the shop and now I can't start it. That means I can't get it off the trailer. Well, I can push it off, but then we can't get it on the frame because it needs to be drivable to drive it on there because it's too heavy to push it. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe something got wet. I'm trying to figure it out. It's not even clicking. The battery was good. So that sucks. So now I gotta take it home, figure out what the problem is, try to get it started, and then hopefully bring it back here this week. Gotta check all the fuses. Uh, we tried with the jumper and it wasn't really clicking or doing anything so all right so I guess I'll drive it home now and see what the problem is there so I'm driving home really uh, feeling bummed out because the van wouldn't start um, I tried everything I could I tried to check all the fuses I tried to play with all the wires and plugs and no idea I have no idea what the problem could be um, I mean, it started just fine with no issues when I was at home. Drove it on the trailer, no problem. And uh, I checked the battery is good. The battery is about 13, 13 and a half volts. But it's not even clicking. Not even, dash is not working. Uh, the lights in the cab are not working. Nothing is working. The horn was working now, when I was playing with the battery, connecting, disconnecting, the horn was beeping. So that was kind of odd but nothing else works when I turn the key on uh, I can't even shift the gears because I think it's a electronic um, disengage uh, thing on there that lets you shift the gears when you uh, put the key in the on position but it's it's pretty weird I have no idea what it could be so when I get home I'm gonna start checking all the fuses I already ch I already checked the fuses over there at the at the shop uh, when I get home I'll I'll try to recheck them all um, I don't know, maybe, maybe something got wet because when I was driving it was raining pretty bad and the hood is open and um, my windshield, plastic windshield didn't hold that well so maybe it got some water on some of the connections inside underneath the dash because I don't have a, a dash cover on there. Hopefully I can find what the problem is and then take it back to the shop because I really don't have time to play around with it. So this video will continue once I uh, find out what the problem is and then I'll continue recording once I figure that out and then hopefully we can take it back to the shop with no problems and just drop it off and get this done. Alright, see you guys in a bit once I figure it out. So a quick uh, update on the van, I brought it home and uh, found the problem finally. This uh, fuse box got a little wet on the fuses here. When I was driving my plastic windshield ripped and all the rain was getting in, in uh, inside right here and it was ripping on this box. So this box right here got pretty wet where the fuses are. So I had to take it out, take it apart, and uh, make sure everything's dried. Dried it out with uh, my wife's uh, hair dryer, so everything is good to go. Uh, plugged it right in. Uh, it started, no issues. So now I gotta call back the guy and uh, figure out. Hopefully, I can take it in the next couple days or so. All right, so that'll be it for this video. Uh, I'm glad I found the problem. It wasn't that big of a deal. And then once the guy says uh, when I can bring it, then I'll take it over there and we'll get this done. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more progress on this van and my truck as well, I got a few more things happening for the truck. Here are the couple upgrades that I have, I got to install. I'll have more videos coming up here shortly. All right, guys, see ya.